Hello YouTube world, Jordan Ray again with another Google Apps Scripting video. This time I kind of ran into a situation where I wanted to generate some user IDs when people join a activity. And I want to generate a unique ID for every person that joins every student who joins. Thought of a couple ways to do that, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is create my generate ID function, and I'm gonna return ID from that. Back in my code, I'm gonna just replace this text string with generate ID, and we're gonna save that. Okay, the three different methods that we will use, we'll call get UUID, we'll call another one get time, and we'll call another one get random. Each of these is gonna be a little bit different. Another thing we're gonna to have to do is get all of the current IDs in the spreadsheet so that we can compare our generated ID with what's in there to make sure that we're getting a unique, we'll call that get all IDs. Now let's go ahead and finish some of these out. Okay, we'll start with the built-in service utilities, which provides a get UUID method. Super simple to use. It's built right into Google Apps Script, and we can test that out right now. Generate ID. So that generates us this long string of letters and numbers separated with some hyphens. Uh, this might be okay except for the fact that it's not truly unique. In the documentation, it says this can't be truly trusted to generate a unique ID over space and time. It might be fine for our needs for a, a small you know, sample size like this. However, it's not truly unique. And we don't really wanna deal with IDs that are that long. So let's try time. Okay, another thing we can do is use the date service, provides a now method, and then we can just stringify that. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. We get a long string of numbers, which is actually the time since the epoch, which I believe is January 1st, 1970, which is when the JavaScript time counter starts counting every millisecond. So we get a number and this will be different every single time we run it. If I run it again, and this might be okay also, um, this will definitely be unique every time because it's always gonna be counting up, but you don't really have any control over the length. You could take control of the length, that might be fine, but I, I also didn't really like this method either. So let's try getting random and modifying that to our needs. Okay, with this function, I've allowed it to take a parameter of digits, which will tell us how many digits to return for our random ID. And if we don't provide anything, it'll just assume eight digits. Then we're gonna round a random number multiplied by the power of those digits. And we're gonna stringify that whole thing. And let's see what that looks like. Here we've got eight digits. Let's try with maybe four. Perfect. We've got a, a random number there. Uh, I think for this, we'll do a six digit random ID. And we need to now compare to make sure that we're actually generating a, an ID that is unique. We need to compare it to all of the IDs that are on the spreadsheet. So I've written a function here that takes all of the values after the frozen row, and then we're gonna map through them all, turn them into strings so that we can compare them to the ID that we generated. Let's go ahead and do that here. And now we need to write a little bit of logic else there we go uh, we're gonna write a little bit of logic here that's gonna say hey if it already exists then we need to try to generate a new id else we can return the id 
So let's go ahead and type the else out now. That's the easy part. We can return ID. But how do we do this last little bit of logic? So I've declared a variable is existing, and then I'm using index of to determine if that ID is already in this array. If it does not exist in the array, it returns negative one. So if it does not equal negative one, is existing is gonna be true. And if it is true, we're gonna just run this function again and return that value. But if it is, if it is false, we can just return the ID. And that ID gets put into our join append row method. Perfect, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm here in this super simple little form that I have generated. I'm putting in my name, let's do Jordan Ray one. <laughs> and then join Fitcoin. And here we go. A random student ID, first name, last name, email, and the Fitcoins available. Perfect, generated a random ID. Hope that helps somebody out there in the world. Different options to, all, to accomplish basically the same task. But that's the way that JavaScript rolls. Talk to you next time.